insulin. How many people here have heard of talk of insulin and diets and the ability to lose weight? Anybody heard? There's so much talk right now about insulin. And that's just one hormone that impacts your ability to lose weight. Insulin works like this. I think you have to understand a little bit about the physiology of eating. When you eat foods, they get broken down into sugar. The sugar goes into your bloodstream. Certain foods cause a big release of sugar, like white flowers, white sugar, candies, pop, muffins, pastries, a big rush of sugar into the bloodstream. As soon as the sugar hits your bloodstream, it triggers the release of insulin. Insulin is like a little truck and it drives out and it picks up the sugar molecule and it drives it back to your cell and it drops it off in the cell. So right away, insulin has lowered your blood sugar. So insulin is, in a sense, telling your body to store energy. So the thing, once the sugar gets in your cell, three things can happen. You will either use that energy right away because your body needs it, or you might need to store that energy in your muscles or in your liver because if you skip meals or if you're stressed, you might need to get a boost of sugar really quickly. But if your storage sites are already full and you don't need that energy right then and there, then all those extra calories that you've just taken in, in the form of sugar, will end up getting stored as fat right around the abdomen. So that's why a lot of people restrict their carbohydrates because they're trying to keep their blood sugar levels low and their insulin levels low. So if you tend to notice weight gain around the abdomen, or if you tend to notice feeling weak, irritable, jittery, headaches, fatigue when you've eaten too much sugar, are tired, you could have a problem with insulin imbalance and in that you've eaten the wrong type of food that's caused too much of a release of insulin. And the trick is you don't need to get rid of insulin completely, you just need to keep it balanced. Okay? If you have cravings after a meal or cravings at 3 or 4 o'clock in the afternoon, you can be sure that you're eating in a way that is triggering too much insulin. Problem with it.